So I just realized there are a bunch of movies that I have seen this year and I have not done reviews on them. So instead of me just trying to do a long movie review about a bunch of the movies that I've seen, I decided I'll just do a quick movie review of them. So let's just get started. The Open House. Now, this is a Netflix film. Apparently, it came out back in January. I was watching Big Mouth. If you have not seen that show, I don't know what I can say about that. <laughs> All I can say is, wow. Besides that, um, it asked me if I uh, was interested in watching this film. I have never seen it, never heard of it. Uh, so I decided to check it out, and oh my god, is it bad. <laughs> this movie is bad. Alright, so, it stars Dylan Minnette. If you don't know who he is, he was in the last Goosebumps movie. He was in, uh, Don't Breathe. Um, I'm trying to think, what other movies has he been in? Well, just check out those movies. Um, anyways, he plays a teenager who loses his father in a car accident. Uh, apparently the person who caused the car accident had a heart attack. And anyways, his mom is sure or strapped for cash, so she, uh, has a little sister that, you know, has this house and they're trying to sell it. And so they, her and Dylan basically move into this house and there's this, guess you could say, serial killer that's stalking them. The problem with this movie is... Is not written well at all. Um, the father is brought up again uh, in a scene that makes no sense. And he's never brought up at all after that scene. Um, there is a weird old lady in this film. We don't... There's not really much that's said about her. She's just weird. The killer... Oh, well, he is. I'm sorry. I don't know why I put that in quotations. He is a killer, but the killer basically is stalking the mom and Dylan's character uh, while he's sleeping, while she's sleeping. He takes photos of the mom. She's looking at photos of her deceased husband. It, it, the movie is just, it's so weird. Like, the killer has every chance to kill Dylan's character. He uh, kills one character, and then he grabs Dylan's character, pours water on him, and expects Dylan to just freeze. Um, and that doesn't happen. He goes back inside the house, and he tries to, you know, save his mom. Um, something happens to her, and the killer literally grabs Dylan. He knows that Dylan can't see and he uh, wears glasses, but he also wears contacts. And he pulls contacts out of his eyes and then just literally allows Dylan to just run. You know, just run. Um, and he runs close to this creek. Then he grabs Dylan and then kills him off screen. And then the next scene is of this other open house and he basically... Uh, I can't remember if he drives up to the open house or he looks at a flyer in the open house. I can't remember it. The point of the matter is this movie fucking sucked. <laughs> it sucks. I'm sorry. It is probably the worst movie I've seen this year. And I've seen a lot of shitty ass movies this year. This is definitely in the top list. The simple fact that it was a Netflix movie made it a little bit better because I had to spend money. Be, well, I mean, technically you have to, but that's not the point. The point of the matter is, if you want to check this movie out, go ahead and check it out. I'm um, sorry if I spoiled it for you, if you were interested. It's not good. Let's just leave it at that. I remember hearing about this movie over a year ago, and I wasn't really sure how to react to it. Um... Until they put out the cast photo of uh, the cast with the director and didn't realize there was going to be Shane Black. So that kind of piqued my interest just a little bit because I like Shane Black. Uh, then a fun fact is Shane was actually a cast member in the original Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So this time he comes back as co-writer and director of this film. And man oh man I heard some things about this movie and I 
I guess I wanted to just check it out at home to kind of get a feel of it. And so, luckily for me, I didn't pay any money for it. And I'm glad I didn't. Because it sucked. <laughs> the, let me tell you something. When you're making a Predator movie, the first thing you make when you're doing it is to make sure that the special effects are up there. Make sure that the kills are up there. There are no good kills in this movie. Except maybe one scene where, he, oh, I guess one of the soldier's hands gets cut off and he decides, the Predator, to literally take the, you know, this and just show one of the soldiers who was driving a vehicle that the soldier was okay, but in reality they're dead. Anyways, this, again, the writing of this movie, and this is Shane Black, so, I mean, I've seen a bunch of Shane's work and loved Shane's work. I don't know what in the hell this movie was supposed to go, what the angle was. You have good actors in this. You got Boyd Holbrook. You got Jacob Tremblay. You got uh, Sterling K. Brown. You have uh, Keegan Michael Key. You know, you can say what you say about Olivia Munn. I, I enjoy things that she does. Thomas Jane, the fucking Punisher. Um, Alfie uh, Allen from Game of Thrones. You have a whole list of good actors. And not one character I cared about throughout this whole entire movie. This movie was bad. The special effects were bad. The lines in this movie were bad. Thomas Jane's character plays a guy with Tourette's Syndrome. Budget for this movie was $88 million. The movie cost $88 million to make... And that's what the product was. That was the end result of this film. $88 million. Bloomhouse makes movies for probably way less than that. And it's better quality. Don't check it out. Predator sucks. Sorry.